They say we only use a fraction of our brain's true potential. Now, that's when we're awake. When we're asleep, our mind can do almost anything. Such as? Well, imagine you're designing a building, right? You consciously create each aspect. But sometimes it feels like it's almost creating itself, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah like I'm discovering it. Genuine inspiration, right? Now, in a dream, our mind continuously does this. We create and perceive our world simultaneously, and our mind does this so well that we don't even know what's happening. That allows us to get right in the middle of that process. How? By taking over the creating part. Now, this is where I need you. You create the world of the dream. We bring the subject into that dream, and they fill it with their subconscious. How could I ever acquire enough detail to make them think that it's reality well dreams they feel real while we're in them right it's only when we wake up that we realize something was actually strange let me ask you a question you never really remember the beginning of a dream do you you always wind up right in the middle of what's going on i guess yeah so how did we end up here well we just came from the uh think about it ariadne how did you get here where are you right now? We're dreaming. You're actually in the middle of the workshop right now, sleeping. This is your first lesson in shared dreaming. Stay calm. developed dream sharing. There's a training program for soldiers to shoot and stab and strangle each other and wake up. How did architects become involved? Someone had to design the dreams, right? There's some strange shit going on here, Colton. 